Okay, so let's wrap this whole thing up. Unfortunately, we didn't get to talk in, de in depth about every single group. They were all fantastic. Um, Pete, I'm going to start with you. Final thoughts about just this whole thing that you got to witness and that we are happy that's back about DCI. Well, you know, I've always thought that our kids, our drum corps kids, have so much more to offer than just their 11 minutes on the field. And I think we saw that the other night with those instant encores and some of the uh, the uh, spotlight things that they did in the end zone with the kids up on the uh, music stage. I sure would like to see a lot more of that. You know, the competition is important. As a, you know, I was band director for a lot of years, and you know, kids really do like that competition aspect. But boy, it was a, that festival atmosphere we had Friday night. You, you just can't beat that feeling. Uh, you know, great performances, great kids, and and just that. Um, like I said, the instant encores and the whole bit were just really uh, a new concept that maybe we maybe we need to start looking at. Yeah, I'm hoping that we sort of uh, keep some of these ideas that people really liked from this year and that uh, some of that sticks a little bit, especially the hats. But anyway, moving on. Hannah, what do you want to say in closing about this whole experience? Well, I will say I'm also pro hats. It just, it looks awesome. As you know, I've revealed throughout this podcast, I'm a, a fan of things that just look cool just to look cool. I think we need more of that. I will say it was great as a fan. I didn't get to see any drum corps live in 2019, obviously deprived of all kinds of live music in 2020. And it was just such a special moment to to share with my dad and to my new with my new friend Pete. And really just to see the heart of the kids out there was was phenomenal. And you can't beat that feeling of a wall of sound coming at you and a bunch of dedicated young people giving it their all on the field. That's what it's about. And we're so lucky to, to get to have seen that. And I'm so glad um, that I was able to be there and to talk about, talk about it with all of you. And I'm so excited to see again, what, what do we take from this? What are the, you know, what have we learned from, from not only from this format uh, from the weekend, but also of the last 18 months, you know, what are the things we can live without? What are the things we can't? And we know now music is one of them. So so glad that I was able to be there last weekend. Yeah, thank you for that comment. I'm so glad you mentioned that because I think that we've had a learning experience here and I hope people will do take that soul searching and thoughtfulness that a lot of people had and really think about what do what is important to this activity? What is important to my life as we move forward? I, I like that you mentioned that, Hannah. I certainly, I know I'm a different person and I'm prioritizing things differently today than I did a couple of years ago. And I think that's valuable. Silver lining, shall we say, that came out of it. Chaz, again, I want to say thank you for being such a great uh, supporter of the podcast. I'm so glad that you could put this team together to sort of recap and that you guys were there on Friday. What do you want to say in closing? Well, you know, it was my pleasure to be able to do that because it was just so much fun to be there. And it was just, for me, rejuvenating to hear those brass lines and see what those kids are doing. You could feel the excitement off the field, you know, from the kids wanting to be out there, wanting to perform and putting their heart and soul into it. And, and I didn't realize how much I missed it until I heard it, uh, you know, that there's just nothing like it. And, and I've been, you know, going to drum corps shows since 1976 was my first one and, and haven't missed it. I haven't, I've seen at least one show every year since then, except of course for last year. But, uh, but again, just to be there, be a part, be, be able to be a part of that celebration. Uh, I felt celebrated myself by those kids performing for me like that. This conversation is sponsored by LCL Mentors, found at lclmentors.com.